Hi, this is Jirka from Revo.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly make a product scene using Cinema 4D and Corona Render Engine. In this video I will not cover the modeling of the product, so if you want to use the same model as I have in my scene, you can download it for free on our website Revo.com, which is the library of PBR materials and models from real world by manufacturers. So let's start. <laughs> But before we start, let's have some research. I picked up a few examples of nice product scenes that can highlight the product itself and underline the product design. If you take a look, you can notice several things. First, the background seems to be infinite with no hard edges or shadows. This is a common thing in real photo shooting when you use for this effect softbox or background canvas. Second, the scene background has a uniform white color to not disturb product color or reflections. For web presentation it's best to have a white background and if you want to give the product a more artistic feeling, you can choose some compliant color to play with the overall mood. Third, there are two lighting sources, overall ambient light and one direct light to highlight the shape of the product and create some soft shadows. We'll try to follow these three steps and hopefully we'll achieve the same result. So first I will add my model to the scene, so I will open it and you can see the textures are already there the model is prepared for rendering so first we have to simulate this photo shooting canvas and infinite background so for this i will use the plane object and i will um, hit n plus d to see the segmentation of my plane and i will change the segments to one and one and i will increase the width to 4,000 centimeters and height, for example, to 1,000 centimeters. Then I have to make this object editable, so I have to uh, hit the C button on the keyboard and then I will go to the edge mode and I will extrude this edge. Right now you have to select this edge, hit right mouse button and select bevel tool and change the offset number to something like 100 centimeters and subdivision like 50. So you have this round edge here and we can start play uh, with the lighting of the scene right now. First we'll have to add some ambient light so for this I will use Corona Sky and I will start interactive rendering. So you can see the intensity of the light is too high, so I will decrease it to 0 0.1. And when you can notice that uh, the sky model has, let's say, blue tint. So I find out the best way how to, how to avoid that is to use rubber fake model and change zenith color and horizon color to white. And you can still see here some shadows on the rounded corner. So we can avoid that by using Corona Shadow Catcher material. We have to change here the mode to environment and we can place inside this Corona Shadow Catcher environment slot the light material, Corona Light material. And then we can apply this Corona Shadow Catcher to our plane. And you can see right now the scene looks like it's infinite, but Shadow Catcher also preserved uh, the shadows from the model uh, on our plane. So we got the first part of the light lighting. And uh, right now I will add here some directional light. So I will place here the Corona light and I will move it a little bit. And on this light, I will apply target tag and to the target tag, I will place here my model. So, so the light is always facing to our model when I, let's say, changing the position in the scene and so on. Right now, the setup is almost there. It's up to you how you will play with that. And I will also uh, uncheck visible directly to not see uh, the object of the light in the scene. And uh, 
uh, what I want to do next is somehow create a nice composition. So I will place here uh, the Corona camera object and I will go inside and uh, what can help helps me with the composition is when I click on the camera and there is composition tab you can um, check here for example golden spiral or go golden section so you can place model in some nice position in my scene and you can create some uh, nice composition it's up to you right now how you will play with that but what we can do next is or what I recommend for this product shots you can change sensor weight to something like 16 millimeters with this you can create some nice details but it also gives some dynamics to the scene when you are rendering those products and it has let's say more artistic feeling and if you want to change the mood of the scene as we saw on our reference images there were some let's say color in the background we can easily change this color uh, by changing the uh, color of the light material which is projecting projecting to our shadow catcher material and uh, what is useful tool is this color wheel because we can pick some color from our scene and see some complementary color uh, which are here so I will maybe change a different color you can pick it from anywhere and I will say that we can use this green one and I will again place it to the shadow catcher material to change its color and you can see right now that the scene is tinted and what I can do, I will decrease a little bit the color and the saturation. And again, I will place this material to the shadow catcher. So you can see the scene starting to look really interesting. You can for inc increase the contrast of the scene and you can play with that whatever you like and you will get really really interesting results so it's up to you right now how you will play with the setup and i hope you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you in another one